governed Jones already, and uh, thank you very much to JP and to Bertrand uh, that I was invited to this next speech. Uh, but uh, I think what, is, what I'm really very lovely understand every time uh, by coming in your town, this wonderful character and wonderful atmosphere of your town. And uh, what I really love in architecture is uh, to try to take part in creation of this atmosphere. And uh, if you make big projects or you make small projects, it's every time a question for me which role takes this project in the life of the town. Which, uh, which function or uh, which possibilities brings this building to the people if you build it here and in that character uh, your project. And such a walls are also a part of our city of Petersburg because the connection between main facades and empty walls is very important connection in the city. And uh, after I began with my Brexit, I dream every time about these pictures. That's why this building I made in Petersburg is a building exact speaking about shine facade and true facade. This uh, front wall facade, fire wall facade, and uh, picture of uh, the picture of some dream. Uh, that the glass, the printing of the glass, is of course not an old, uh, not an old uh, technique. Uh, I was. Uh, uh, I was in, in the right picture not to, not to make like a copy, but to make these new materials, the imagination of this dream of uh, Parade for sake uh, of the house. And on the other side, uh, many times I, I traveled to uh, old towns of Russia, and what I, what I love in your town, of course, these mosques, this very, this very honest, this very interesting in detail, in materiality, in the smallest surfaces and textures, uh, your uh, singular buildings of your religion architecture here in the town. And uh, what I loved also in my, my young life, there are also pictures from when I was 14 or 13, or 15 minutes. Uh, this is all Russian towns. Why I love these churches? Because they are very friendly, they are very clear in the form. <laughs> And uh, they are very true uh, what goes about materials. Because I think we live now uh, in a very shiny world. If you go to this wall and go to this wall, you see that it's a solid wall. If you go to the wall of contemporary building and try to, uh, to put your hand on, you hear the gap. Because we have a difference between the wall you built on and the wall you made a cladding or you made a face, like a mask. A mask is uh, something where you don't see in the face the public space. Like also this building, the second part of my building, uh, where the most important was not this block. The block is clear, uh, it is function, it is also the space you bought this, but also this public uh, embankment, what was made you before this building, no embankment or no possibility for public to go through and over the spray it was possible. And also what was very important, the public, even public spaces inside of the building. Uh, because I think it is very, very important not to uh, cut the building from outside, but to give a possibility to come in and to uh, go through the building also vertical to understand that the building is lovely and can be beloved not only on the ground floor, on this public space, but also upstairs through the elevator in this case, so going over the bridges. So you, you go through the building uh, as a private person and at the same time all functions of the building this time project is, a, by the way, most, uh, most successful trades and go right after that. They uh, I function parallel to this. This parallelity in the town, this organic parallelity, I think it's very important. We can see the building like a tree. In the tree, you have a wonderful silhouette, the last silhouette. But the silhouette uh, is every time you see maybe boring. If you come narrow to the building, you have the leaves. You have the smallest ornament of leaves. And the smallest ornament of leaves is that what we love in the buildings of past, and we have to come back to that 
to make the same percent of building together with new industry, together with hope in new possibilities of industry, also robot industry, not only, not only people industry, to make the services more beloved, more interesting, and more uh, quality high by the, by the looking from the narrow distance. Not to make just these minimalistic joints and nothing else in the warm countries, maybe in your town, is still okay. But even that, I would say, in the wrong way. But in the countries where you don't have so many lines only for photos of architectural photos, uh, but uh, in the normal times, then there is not shadow here, and you have to, you have to feel, you have to feel this quality of area, you have to feel this quality not only of space, but the quality of smaller detail. Uh, coming uh, through the surface of the building. Then, I think we have a chance to join our buildings with these very normal buildings of 30s, 40s, of the former times are still much more nice. Uh, we should be uh, very honest in it, as many of, uh, most of buildings we built now. Because uh, we work not so much on the quality of surfaces like this brick, with a little bit of uh, plaster, but it's monolithic grid, and uh, you go with a monolithic grid inside, and you create this uh, quite simple details, uh, the monolithic and true structure. Like also this building, where concrete is uh, load bearing structure, all insulation and all things are coming inside, but if by if you come narrow to the building, you come narrow to this, uh, to this video, you see more, you see more elements, you see more till the drawer even, what we did in some case, uh, the form of the building. And then on this day, I think we can bring the most of our architecture to that quality of this unknown uh, Italian, very nice uh, small village building. What is my uh, last point? Thank you very much. And you've done very tall buildings in very short time as a Immigrant to Germany, very difficult to work with. The uh, majority of your works were Germany and Europe. So my question is a bit more, more private. Uh, doing all this uh, in such a short time, uh, dealing with uh, accountants, dealing with uh, lawyers, dealing with uh, different partnerships. So to young uh, architects or architectural students, beside your architecture, how to manage it is another issue. So do you have any hints to do you have any advice to young architects? Well, uh, uh, yeah, if even it would be, a, uh, how to say it in English, uh, not, not deep enough from the answer, but I would say uh, you should decide, uh, as everybody, as every, everybody as, as, uh, of us should decide how many things you like to, yeah, you like to make. Anybody says you make too much, and others says you should make it the other way. Everybody decides for himself uh, how to do things. Yes. But uh, for me personally, uh, it's important uh, to create a clean position every day. So I don't leave any messages for tomorrow. I don't answer any message two hours later, just now, equal they are. And I tell to my uh, architects and to anybody I tell the next uh, mistake we make in the next project. In this project, we are like this mistake. <coughs> so it means <laughs> not, to, not to ask yourself uh, any time, are you right or are you wrong? Uh, you ask yourself, but you go, you go straight ahead. That's, I think, important. And of course, uh, you have to believe in people. You have to trust people, even if you are uh, sometimes uh, wrong in it, but I still now have a lot of very, very good people, people uh, they are surrounded, uh, we and uh, are surrounded now, and I trust them, and I trust them that they, that they uh, love me and uh, like to work with me and like to trust me. That's also very important. Thank you very much for coming. Yeah, thank you.